how will the performance of Rage Longinus differ if you use Jolt Dash instead of its stock driver, Destroy Dash? And which suits your playstyle better? Hello friends, this is the Baytective, and these are the questions that we will be examining today. Before we get into our video, I want to make a quick shout out to one of my favorite family out there, the Smiths times 6. They make great videos together as a family and that's very very encouraging. Let's send them our love as they are nearing their 100th subscriber milestone. Going back to understand this build better, let's take a look at Rage Longinus. This particular Longinus, in my humble opinion, is competitively viable out of the box. Its stock combo is already top tier. Its notable part is the Rage Ring, which has two dragon heads tilted downwards. These sides aim to shatter the defense of the opposing bay. It pairs really well with the 3H chassis, which like the Rage Ring is packed with metal insertions. The spear-like protrusions of the 3H chassis aligns well with the dragon head of the Rage Ring focusing all weight in two specific piercing points. And for an attack type, Rage Longinus is well balanced. Destroy Dash is aggressive and has decent stamina and late game LAD potential. Overall, it is competitive as it is. Honestly, Rage Longinus is not my favorite bay. But if I want to wreak havoc in the arena, it's my go-to bay. The Rage Ring and the 3H chassis pairing is the crux of the combo. I'll be replacing Destroy Dash with a Jolt Dash. We'll be battling this combo against Infinite Achilles in stock combo in a 3 round match. Also, we'll battle it against a defensively oriented Death Diabolos to see its performance against defense type builds. Three, two, one, go shoot! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The strategy of this combo is to deal strong and swift blows against the opponent and force a ring out or a burst within the first 12 seconds of the round. Using Jolt Dash trades off the late game stamina that Destroy Dash has. In exchange, Jolt Dash grants Rage Longiness intensified aggressiveness at the onset of the match. Very few bays can withstand the attacking power of Rage Longiness once it connects. However, failure to deal hits at the beginning of the match will result to losing its momentum and lose the stamina battle at the end game, which all rubber tip drivers are prone to. So against strong attack types like Brave Valkyrie or Hyperion, this combo can go toe to toe with them and often emerge as a winner. But this combo will have a difficult time dealing with base that can tank hits like World Spriggan in defense mode. Whether this combo finds a spot in your battle box heavily depends on your Beyblading style. If you want swift, hard hitting strikes at the beginning of the match to overwhelm your opponent, go for Jolt Ash. If you want to play aggressively but prefer to have an ace in a hole of a tad bit of lad, go for Destroy Dash. That's it for today folks and let me know your comments down below what your thoughts are about this combo and I'll see you next time.